Ooh. Yes. I love how they added these little containers and stuff. That's cool. I hear you. What's going on? Who are you? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Stay put. I'll get those other torches offline as soon as I can. Thanks. I'll contact you when I can. Oh God, 
I didn't mean to. Are you hurt? You can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I thought you were one of them. Here's a tip. Two eyes, human. Four eyes, Batarian. Yeah, okay. I'll remember that. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard with the Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice community. It's good schools. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Should I requisition a cow to walk through ahead of me? Look, you can disable them. Just not remotely. I didn't have the equipment to set it up differently. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. I came across a member of your crew. He didn't make it. I... I see. Well, maybe the other two are still out there. You never know. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her... Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. Time's running short. I'm gonna go punch this mountain into space. I think I'll make myself scarce in case any Batarians come back. Good luck, Shepard. This computer is filled with operation logs and personal journals for a small pirate music station operated by X-57 engineers. It includes scripts for several uh, promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X-57, rocking this rock since 2182. Radio X-57, where your world seems hollow, 
We help you touch the sky. Radio X57. Talk hard. Radio X57. Your last best hope for rock within 300,000 kilometers. The music doesn't carry on anymore. Well, it never did anyway. It would be cool that if, once you turn that on, it would just kind of follow you around and make. His body has severe burns and shows signs of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, the, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. This is Dr. Hines. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. Vatarians are assholes. I don't think we've ever met a nice Vatarian in this game. Well, in these games. remember the turrets being there. Oh, did they make it so the demolitions actually stick out of the ground now? I think they did. That's what the blue Getting things are. Getting all kinds of interference. Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. Let's see if I can fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing what you're doing. They did. They actually show you where the explosives are.
Why the hell did you have a sniper rifle?
Who's shutting down the torches? I won't ask you again. Find this problem and deal with it. Unfortunately, being a ruthless renegade, we are going to deal with Balak here once and for all, and not have to deal with him in the third game. We will have to deal with a different Batarian, but it won't be Balak. Normally, we let Balak go here to save that chick. But since we're ruthless and we don't put up with idiots, That's cool they actually put those little things there now to show you where they are. I think if we kill Balak here, we end up dealing with his second in command later in the third game. Instead, which is the guy we're going to meet here in a minute.
And those two got hooked up, and, and I can't find a sniper that's better than what I got. Oh, I do have a 10. Never mind. We did get an upgrade, didn't we? Alright, we're doing good then. Last bunch of shots were just uh, celebration shots. Good old, we did it.
with some duelist armor there. Maybe for Ashley? Let's look. Nope. Ooh, she can get a new medical. So can they are. And it better be that, yeah. All right. We got medical nines all around. All right, and then I got shields. Um, combat exo. If we gave Ashley this one, she moves around a lot. I don't know. We'll just... Right there, this doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I've got nothing to say to a Batarian terrorist. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit, a quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are going to die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Maybe you should take your men and go, before you get hurt. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. You keep listening to this Bollock and you'll end up dead. Maybe. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Bollock wants you dead. And what Bollock wants, Bollock gets. I can't change that. Spoken like a true lackey. You get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Or you can take your chances with me. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. Balak's a dead man. And if I ever see you in human territory again, so are you. Understand? Perfectly. Alex, hold up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. 